Welcome everybody, this is I Am Sportacus. Today, uh, we have some UPHL hockey. Uh, Thursday night, game of the night. Uh, it's the Red Hot Iron Mountain, still without a loss in regulation. Taking on the another Red Hot team, the Copper Harbor Prospectors, who have won three straight. And now on their home ice, take on... Tried to hand Iron Mountain their first loss uh, in regulation of the season. So let's head to the rink and get ready for today's game. Iron Mountain 3-0-3. Oh Taking on the 3-3 three and three Copper Harbor Prospectors. Daniel Bird will start in net, the backup goalie for Copper Harbor. Uh, Alan Martell will get a breather. Paul Belanger will start in net for the Iron Mountain uh, Miners. All right, here we go. Three minutes off the clock, six. It's going to be an action. A 12 and a 15. It's going to be an attack uh, for John Lewis. Lewis has been hot of late. And 52. Goalie gloves it and holds on for the faceoff. Belanger saw that one all the way. Two and eleven. One of the, so the bat puck battle threshold is twelve. So it's another action. A nine and a two. James Cameron for Iron Mountain against the column D chart. 98. Bold defenseman blocks the crucial shot and teammate clears. So good play by Copper Harbor there. 5 and 11. Another action. Eight and a two. Another uh, chance for Iron Mountain. It's John LaFleur. LaFleur. On the column D, though. Uh-oh. Slot chance. In the crease, or in the slot, the wrister from John LaFleur. 73 save. Nice play by Daniel Bird. And we move on. Five and a ten. Another action. Three eight. Whoops. Three and a twelve. Here's Michael Collins. Column A. Seventy seven. And we got a penalty. This is going to be called on Copper Harbor. And Iron Martin will go on the first power play, and they have a deadly power play. A 10 power play against an 8 penalty kill. So they will be on the uh, plus 1, plus 2 power play. It's going to be Windebank, a tripping call. Here's Andre Puglio. Puglio. 29. In the crease. Puglio swipes at it. Scores. Andre Puglio puts it past Daniel Bird. And 
the other Andre Pulin will get the assist. It's Pulio's third goal of the season. It's one nothing Iron Mountain. Three and a one. Nineteen and eleven. This is going to be Copper Harbor. Jacob Sebastian. Eighty-five. It's going to be a slot chance. Jacob with the wrister. Eighty-two save made by Belanger. And Copper Harbor got a good shot there from Sebastian, but uh, foiled by Paul Belanger. And that's going to be the end of the first. So Iron Mountain gets the only goal. Andre Pulio with the With the goal, assisted by Poulin, and Iron Mountain leads at one nothing after one period of play. We had to period two. Two and a three. Four and a one. Column D, it's Pulio again. 91. No shot as the puck is taken away, taken back to center ice. A one, or a five, I'm sorry, and a one. Eighteen and a six. Another column, D, Patrick Lavoie. Fourteen, and it's nice play by the defenseman. Breaks up the pass. Five and a seventeen. That's the first puck battle, I believe, of the game. It's nineteen. And we're going to get a aggression check, and a minor penalty is going to be called here. Plus two to Iron Mountain on the uh, aggression. aggression 14 and a 7, and it's going to be on Iron Mountain. A two-minute minor. The floor gets a spearing call. And it's going to be... Copper Harbor on the power play. Here's John Hughes. 54. Deflected the pass. Action grinds along the boards. 64. And we're going to get another penalty. And this time it's going to go against Copper Harbor. Slashing call on Graham. And now it's Iron Mountain to the power play. Here's Jim Ellis, 34, in the slot, wrist shot, top shelf, goal! Jim Ellis with his fourth, and it's 2 nothing Iron Mountain. Barry Gendron and Michael Collins with the assist, and Iron Mountain jumps out to a 2 nothing lead. Six, and that's going to do it for the second period. Again, Iron Mountain, the only goal of the period, and they now lead it 2 to nothing. We head to period three. Copper Harbor needs to get the offense going here. Four to 15. It's going to be a puck battle. 74, agitator table, 4, and we're going to get a 2-minute minor on Iron Mountain, Copper Harbor, 
as John Hughes draws a penalty here on Lador uh, Godori interference call. So Copper Harbor really uh, needs to But their power play is not very good. Four against the eight penalty kill. That's going to be uh, advantage penalty kill unit. So let's see if they can get uh, get on the board here. Whoop. Wrong dice. 47. It's going to be a point chance. The slap shot from Michael LaRock. 60. Save made. Here's Jacob Sebastian. 17. In the crease. They're banging away at it. Scores. Jacob Sebastian, his first of the year. Assisted by Michael LaRock and David Raymond. And Copper Harbor cuts the lead to one goal. Two to one here. Big goal. Nine and a six. It's going to be a column D roll. Stephen Campbell, 93. No shot. A four and a 20. It's a puck battle. 27. And we're going to get a penalty on Copper Harbor. Big hit. And the hand goes up. It's going to be on Graham again. A holding call. And Iron Mountain goes on the power play. They could really put this game away with a goal here. Here's Jim Ellis. 26. He's in the crease. Rebound out front. Scores! Jim Ellis is second of the night. In his fifth of the season, it's three to one, Iron Mountain. Jim Ellis gets the goal, John LaFleur, and Dennis Jones with the assist. Three and a six. Action, two and a twelve. Here's Andre Pulio. Pulio. Looking for his second of the night. 37. Scores! Close range. Flips it up and in. Daniel Bird all of a sudden imploding here in the third period. His Pulio's fourth of the year. Second of the night. Michael Collins and Dennis Jones gets another assist. It's 4-1 to one, Iron Mountain. And that means we're not going to get an empty net. So if game's pretty much over, 1 and a 10. 4 and a 12. And it's LaFleur. They're pouring it on here now. 99. Nine is going to be crease chance for LaFleur. Rebound out front. LaFleur puts it in. Daniel Bird did not have a chance. LaFleur with his fifth of the season. Assist from Jim Ellis and Stephen Kennedy. And it's five to one. Co uh, Copper Harbor just getting blown out now as Bird just facing shots from all angles. Two.
five and an 18. Oops. And a nine. Here's Dylan Windebank. 82. Crease chance. 57. And Bird will score, but it's. Or Dylan Windebank will score, but it doesn't mean anything. The game's over. That's Windebank's first of the year. Alfred Graham and Yuri Popoff on the assists. But it doesn't change much as Iron Mountain's going to skate off Copper Harbor's home ice with a 5 2 win. Copper Harbor hoping for their. And also being at home, they were hoping to put together their fourth straight win, but it was not to be. Iron Mountain goes to 4 0 oh, 3. They have been a tough out for everybody. Uh, the only losses they have coming in overtime. Belanger gets another win. Pulio and Jim Ellis both with a pair of goals for the Iron Mountain Miners. Let's take a look at Iron Mountain. Belanger, 4-0-1. And Claude Gagnon, or Gagnon has the only two other two overtime losses. Belanger with a 3.19 goals against average. Barry Gendron leads the team in points. LaFleur and Ellis with five goals apiece. Copper Hard uh, Harbor, meanwhile, Daniel Bird falls to one and two in his starts. He hasn't been awful, but he just uh, this game he got lit up pretty good. Patrick Lavoie leads the team in points with seven. They haven't scored a lot of goals. Uh, Fifteen in total in seven games. So that's just over two a game. So, let's play another one. We got uh, bonus footage. Let's do uh, St. Ignace has been red hot of late against Gladstone. Jeez, it seems like Gladstone's playing all their games at home. Let's do this one. The Gladstone Braves. Morgan Hedgens in net. And it looks like uh, St. Ignis is going to start their backup. Four and two on the season for St. Ignis. Gladstone three, two and one. Five and an eight. So action, 16 and a 16. Here's Gladstone, Ian Gade. Gade. 22. Scores! Out of the gate, five minutes in, and Gade's got his first of the year. Assisted by John Preston and Burt Braun. It's one nothing Gladstone. Five and a six. Twelve and a one. St. Ignace, Kevin Lamoth for Gladstone. It's going to be on the column D. Sorry. Five and a fifty nine. Five and a nine. Force an off balance shot. It's going to go wide. Three and a 14. It's a puck battle. 65.
regression checks. Two and a one. And it's going to go against, it's going to be with plus one to Gladstone, but it's going to be uh, so crashing that St. Ignis delivers a one hit and they will get a crease chance from Alex McKenzie Uh oh. 36. Scores! Alex McKenzie. As it leaks into the goal, I thought that uh, Hedges had it stopped, but it got in. McKenzie's third of the year. George McGuire and Luke Morrow with the assist. It's now 1-1. One, one. Six and a seven. One and a six. It's going to be a column two. Luke Morrow. For St. Ignace. 35. Big hit by Gladstone. Or, yes, by Gladstone. Knocks Morrow off the puck. Two and a six. And that's going to do it. That's the end of the first. 1-1 one, one our score. Goals from Gaudet and McKenzie. Gaudet for Gladstone and McKenzie for St. Ignace. And we're tied at one. We had to period number two. Four and a ten. Eleven and a fourteen. Here comes Gladstone. Now Gaudet again. Ian Gaudet. Twenty-six. Scores! Odd man rush. Two on one and Gaudet. Flips it past Morgan, or I'm sorry, Menard for the goal. Gaudet's second of the game and of the season. Lamoth, Preston on the assist, and Gladstone leads it 2-1. to one. Four and a six. Seven and an eight. Here comes John Jones. John Jones. Thirty six. It's a crease chance. Rebound out front. Jones scores. Saint Ignis quickly ties it up. John Jones with an assist from Mickey Wilson makes it 2 2. One in a 19. The puck battle. 34. And we're going to get a penalty on Gladstone. Two minute minor. Slashing call on Williams. Power play for St. Ignace. Here's McKenzie. 87. And they're going to kill the penalty. Nine minutes to play in the second period. One and a nine. Seventeen and a fifteen. It's going to be Gladstone. Here's John Preston. 
33. It's going to be in the slot. Preston with the wrist shot. 65. Save made. Nice play by David Menard. Four and a seven. Sixteen and a nine. Here comes Jean Luchet. Luchet. Eighty four. It's a crease chance. Backhand save made by Menard. Three and eighteen. It's a puck battle. Sixty seven. Aggression check. Eighteen and a one. It's going to be on Iron Mountain. It's going to get the. Uh, Going to create a crease chance here, I think. One hit, and they get a jack ball rebound out front. 28 scores. Jack ball with his first of the season. And it puts St. Ignis up 3-2. to two. Keith LaRock and Jean Jones, John Jones with the assist. Tough break there for Morgan Hedges. A four, and that's going to do it for the second period. We head to the third. 3-2 in favor of St. Ignis. Goals from Gaudet. For Gladstone, and then two back to back for Jones and Ball put St. Ignis on top. Looking to win their fifth of the year. Six and a two. Action 16 and a 20. That's going to be Gladstone. Here's Joseph Young. Scores! Turnover by St. Ignis. A bad play in their own zone. And jo Joseph Young turns and fires the quick shot that gets past Menard on the glove side. And it is 3-3. Three to three. Marcel Bourgeois and Doug Roy with the assist. What a game here. 3-3, three, three, almost midway through the third. 3-18. It's a puck battle. 96. The enforcer table. 5. We got ourselves a fight. Here's John Valley and Burt Braun going at it. 17. And then the pair circle, hesitant to engage, and grapple and fall to the ice. Standoff fires up both benches. Increase the stamina of both teams by one. So not much of a fight, but uh, still, just the fact that the aggression by both teams in this tight game gets everybody pumped up. Just to see the two fighters duke it out, even though there wasn't any duking, it was just mainly grappling so we move on both fighters go off for fighting 6 and a 17 puck battle 18 aggression check 12 and a 4 Going to be on St. Ignis. A penalty called here. Let's see what it is. A roughing call on Hanson. And Gladstone gets a power play here late. 19 and a 
91. That's going to be a kill. A penalty kill by St. Ignace. Couldn't have come at a better time for them. Three minutes left to play in the period. One and a four. Seven and a 16. St. Ignace is going to get a, a column A roll. If I can... If I can find my dice, I just dropped. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, he scores! Kevin Hamilton. Franz Aspen and Alex McKenzie on this assist. Kevin Hamilton second, a big one. Late here in the third. It's four to three. Gladstone sends Hedges to the net, uh, bench. They've got the empty net. Oh, they score! Possibly. Oh, I thought it was a score. Ah, oh, it was to three as an automatic score. Slot chance for Laliberte. Laliberte. 49. Scores! A wrist shot. Gets pie. David Menard, and we're tied again. Ian Godet with the assist. Henry Laliberte with the goal. And it's 4-4. Four, four. We're looking at overtime now. Six. And that's going to do it. We head to overtime. Open ice. Thirteen. Back and forth. No action. Sixteen. Same thing. Back and forth, but no shots on goal. Three. Here comes Gladstone on the attack. 46. It's a slot chance. Paul Williams. 73. Save made. Ten. It's the tax sequence. A nine and a ten. And it's going to be Luke Morrow. Seventy-eight. Pay the price. Attacking stamina is seven or more. It is. It's a crease chance. Luke Morrow. 53, scores! Luke Morrow wins it for St. Ignace. Mickey Wilson with the assist. That's Morrow's eighth of the season. And a winner here for St. Ignace. 3.33 of the overtime. And St. Ignace wins it in Gladstone. And they move to 5-2 and two on the se or five and two on the season. A tough, tough loss for Gladstone. Uh, David Menard gets the win in goal. The backup goalie doesn't play fantastic, but he still was able to get in a high-pressure situation there. In overtime, hold on to get the win. Hedges, another tough loss for him. Let's take a look. Hedges now. 3 2 and 1. 3.15 goals against average. Oop. 
St. Ignis. Menard, one and one. Four, three, five goals against, but picks up the win here. Luke Morrow atop the leaderboards in goals now with eight. And points, 14. He has been the top scorer this season in the UPHL so far. So that's it from here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, excited to see what happens in this league going forward. It's been a lot of fun so far. We will see everyone later. Thanks for watching.